Hi, this is Daniel, and I'm excited to share with you Blender Ray version 1.3. This version includes a number of performance improvements, bug fixes, and some new features. One of the new features is the ability to change the export scale. But just to give a quick example of how this works, I'll create a new scene. So I've just created a new scene with a simple pyramid and a camera. So I'll just export the camera at scale 1. It's going to create a new comp because I changed the frame range, which didn't match the other comp. Uh, now if I select the vertices and export at 1, we will be able to see those. Now let's change the export scale to 2. And we'll export them again. Now we can see that there's the vertices are double the scale. Pretty straightforward, but it can come in very useful if you want to change the scale of the keyframes, especially for animated cameras or objects. Another new feature is that any comps created in After Effects will now have the same start frame and duration as the Blender timeline. One of the other things that we've improved is face exporting. We've got this low poly phone scene here I'll switch back to rendered view it just pops up and I want to export this face so I'm just going to select that face and then going to make sure I'm connected to After Effects and click export to AE now you can see that the face is in here but I forgot to select the camera so jump back to Blender I'll select both the cameras because there's actually two cameras in this scene and export those. Okay, now we've got the screen of the phone. In After Effects, I can also just import the render. All right, and if I just give this a quick preview, you can see that the face is perfectly matching the render. One of the great improvements is that we can also now scale the shape, the shape layer to the size that you desire um, because I've added an, an expression to the, to the comp that will automatically recalculate the scale and also any rotations. So if we want to add some text or the logo and I'll just add the forest comp that I've got from this in here and what I'll do is I'll just use this face as a mat oh one thing that tricks me too is to make sure that any assets you add into this comp the face comp are 3d enabled otherwise they won't appear and there we go now we've got the screen added on and we can update this, change it, add text, whatever we want to do. Exporting of faces and complex objects that have many faces has been greatly improved. So I've just selected all the faces here and I'll export all of these. You're still going to get a warning just to let you know that this might take some time. But you can press escape if you want to abort the process. I'll click OK and those faces will come in. As you can see, exporting faces from the new version of Blender AE 1.3 is a lot faster. It's not only exporting faces that are a lot faster, also improved exporting multiple objects. We've fixed some bugs, including support for portrait cameras, multiple cameras, and camera constraints causing errors. I'm also excited to share that we now support separate XYZ rotation and also parenting and the camera point of interest which came in in the previous version. So if I select this camera um, and also these planes I'll jump back over to Blender we'll just create a new scene and connect to After Effects import layers that'll jump back to After Effects and process and in Blender if I jump back in you can see now I've got the camera 
go into wireframe we've got the two planes with the animation on it and if I just go back to the first frame play that see we've got the same movement Blender opens up a whole world of possibilities with 3D and motion graphics and I think one of the most exciting ones is the ability to add physics into After Effects scenes. I've been playing around with different um, physics simulations. For example, if I just make a new comp, and I'll just select a bunch of these objects. Connect to After Effects and export. And I'll also just export the camera. Now we've got 3D physics enabled in After Effects, which you could use for any number of things. Here's another example of a pool table. Connect, export to AE. When exporting multiple objects that are all animated or have physics simulation, it can take some time to write the keyframes. And I'll just bring this camera back in. Make sure I select the right one. And now we've got a physically accurate pool ball simulation and actually I'll just add some balls. Now if I jump in to edit mode and just make sure that I've got the right face selected, I'll export that to After Effects and I'll just change the color of this to something a bit easier to see. There we go, we've got the pool balls and the pool table floor. So thank you for all the feedback and all the support. I uh, hope you find this tool useful in your workflow and I'll keep working on it. <laughs>